Got some more uh, moose nickel on there. And right here I'm making some new uh, Merton boxes. And you know, for people who've been following me on YouTube and watching my trapping videos, you'll see that, you know, uh, especially here, you know, I had a lot of Merton boxes knocked off the trees by black bears and some were damaged. And even over time, you know, the boxes kind of break down and and after a while they need to be replaced. So I'm making a new modified box so that whenever I got to replace a box or set up a new area, I'm going to be using this these new boxes. And to look at them really looks identical to what I got out there now, but the modification is I just four inches down, it cuts off a piece and puts in a piece of, more, of wire mesh, and that's where the bait is going to go and will be uh, closed off. And right here, this is all the pieces that uh, you'll need to make the modified box. And right here, this is chicken wire. This is half inch squares. I wanted quarter inch squares, and and as soon as I get some quarter inch square, that's what I'll be using from then on, because uh, I want to make sure it's small enough, make sure no screws get up through it and get at your bait. And right here, this is uh, seven inches wide, and it's 14 inches on the long side and four inches on the short side. You just measure up four inches and just draw a straight line from that point to that point there. So you're going to need two pieces like that. And you're also going to need uh, two pieces like this here. And it's eight and a half inches wide and 14 inches long. You'll make two pieces like that, but then after on one piece, you'll measure down four inches and just cut it across. So, one piece you'll cut a second time, like that, and that's all you need to make this modified Merton box. Now, I hope this uh, table ain't too shaky, but right here I got, uh, this is an inch and a quarter uh, 18 gauge brad staples, and first I'm going to do this long side. Why don't you use the first staple in there? Make sure it's flush there and just flush the line aside. Why don't you get the first staple? You got it, didn't you? <laughs> I don't be shy in the staples. Scatter one way, bust it through the side there a little bit. Cuts in there. <laughs> Lots of staples being good and solid. And then, like I said, one piece you just measures down four inches and cuts it off. What I have right here. So what all I do is this. I'll just lodge this short piece there. Lodge the line piece on top of it there like that. And here we are so far. Now next is the wire. I come in a, a roll like that. And I figured it would have wide. I would need it to fit in there decent. And so I come up to be uh, well, kind of 15 in all square. So just kind of 15 and cut off a strip. Like that, a bit longer than that. And then from this strip, another one, 
seven squares. So it's 15 squares by seven squares. And the camera here. Look at this. Just one tier of square. Uh, just on and buckle up pretty close to a 90 degree. And turn it around. And just cutting it over there. Just one square, and then I'm just going to push down on these a bit like that. Just buckle them down a little bit. And this is the shape that I'm after. Staples are an inch and a quarter, so I make sure I can get a little bit of space under the, under the box there. And I'll just put three staples there, and you can see that the foul water is here. You can get a hammer or something to pound them back, but really, you just put them on the fingers right here. it. So we have this, uh, this the wire piece. And then the last piece goes on there. And I, I experimented over right here. Uh, I drilled a couple of holes on each side put some string through and use that like a hinge and drill the hole there for some wire and screw it in there you, you, know, you haul them down and you wind around like that and right here I put a nail in one side and a hole there with a bit of wire and just kind of hinging on that nail and you can uh, screw in there and wind around but I think what I'm going to go with is this one I, uh, I just put a hole on one side right here neutral right there and use put string through and use that as a hinge and with a hole put through there a bit of wire and we just you know hinge down that way put the bait in there I think this is what I'm going to do, go with, and uh, yeah, so this is going to be the new stall Martin boxes that I'm going to be making and using from now on, and over time I hope to get all my other ones replaced, but they'll, they'll take years, you know, we're just going to do a, do a few as, uh, as, as they need to be replaced, and I'll have a few on hand all the time. Now right here I got uh, one of my old boxes that was beat up by a black bear, and you can see this piece here is broke off, and this piece here is missing all together. And even though, you know, well, what I'm using right now is half inch plywood, and these are made of three quarter inch lumber, I still kept all the all the pieces the same widths. The thickness is different, but everything else is the same. The only difference is, with the three quarter inch lumber, I guess there won't be so much space around your trap, where I'm using thinner plywood here. There'll be like a little more gap on each side of your trap, but by keeping everything the same, it's easy, like, uh, 
But this one here, this one here now, all I do is take this piece off here. Look, this this plywood will match up perfectly with lumber. And even though it's different, so see, this piece here is the same as well. So, so I'll salvage so much of this box. I'm just gonna take this piece off now, and uh, I'll, I'll cut this one here so then I'll put the the modification in it as well. But I guess to save some of the old box, you know, it's not all not all garbage. an old box that got damaged by uh, a black bear. So I got some old perps and some new perps and now he's uh, ready to go back in service again. Put your bait down there. Close the cover there like that. And just wind around there a couple times. Yeah. That's perfect. I'm going to use two pieces of board. Yep, yeah, just, a, just a quick video to to show you the modification that I'm making to my uh, Martin boxes and over time I'll have them all replaced with those boxes but they'll take they'll take years <laughs> bit by bit and if, in the video if you've seen these signs and wondering what these were <laughs> uh, the wife and kids was out here uh, earlier and uh, they made these signs and every year you know the wife has a, a kids Christmas party and now they call it the, the Polar Express party and he's making some more signs for it and the kids has an absolute blast so Oh, give me a little bit of paint in there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what those are for. But uh, I guess that's it for this one. Not it for me though. I still got that uh, rabbit to clean. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, for those that you know to, to make the boxes like mine, you may want to consider making a modification like that as well. I really appreciate y'all watching, and hope to see you all on the next one. All the best from the big land. <laughs>